I've been plagued by a very slow internet here and finally decided to invest in a Starlink satellite system to see whether this will solve my problems. I've just installed the Starlink server here and I'm now going to see what sort of speeds we get. I get normally about 6 megabits per second downlink and 1 megabit per second uplink here. Let's see what we're going to get here. Blimey, look at that. That's 150 megabits per 160 megabits per second downlink. That is phenomenal. Oh, that is great. Wow. Upload's not quite so good. Well, still three times better uplink than uh, I'd currently get. And this is all because open reach are not fulfilling what they're meant to do to connect all of rural Britain. And um, uh, R6 houses in this village are within a couple of hundred yards of fibre, but I've approached open reach with uh, um, a proposal and the grants provided by West Sussex County Council, which is uh, about £28,000 in total for this group of houses, and OpenReach said, no, nope, it's too small a deal and they're not going to do it. And here we are, I've uh, invested in that, a little bit more expensive per month, but not much. Wow. Going to check the speed of the Starlink system again. Um, yeah, that is glacially slow. It looks as though there are just not enough satellites in the network at the moment. When I first turned it on, it was wonderful. 166 megabits per second download was fantastic. Uh, this is barely usable on the download, but actually uplink is pretty much twice my normal um, fibre to cabinet rate I'm getting here. So that's quite good on, on the upload. But otherwise, uh, I must also go and check that there's a full field of view on the dish and um, that's a bit of a problem at the moment there are trees and buildings around and I probably need to get a better better uh, position for the thing maybe up on the roof somewhere